lovely lot. Hello and welcome. I'm Emma and this is the 10 Minute Quilter. Thank you for joining me today. It's nice to see you. Uh, it's Monday the 8th of April today and it's it's raining again just for a change. It just doesn't seem to do anything but rain at the moment does it? But there we go. Uh, how was your Easter? Was it nice? Ours was fairly quiet. We went for a walk. Oh, while whilst I mention it, I am doing the uh, Trek 26 walk this year again. I did it last year round the Cotswolds. This year I'm doing the Stonehenge version. It's 26 miles in a day to raise money for Alzheimer's research. So if you you know, quick shameless plug, I have no shame at this point. If you um, have a spare little, little bit of dosh and you fancy sponsoring me, that would be great. I'll put a link down below to my Just Giving page. That would be amazing if you could. That would be really appreciated. So we did that and I also made hot crust buns, which were amazing, even if I say so myself. I used the Bake With Jack recipe, who's on YouTube really great recipe Love, highly highly recommend it so if you if you want to have a go at some go and have a look at bake with jack i'll put a link down below and i don't like the cross part that's the only thing i like the bun itself but i don't like the cross bit so i might make them again and not put the cross bit on i know where you put them on where i put it on but what is this thing about I'm eating certain foods at certain times of the year? It's like um, mince pies. I love, I love a mince pie. But why do we only ever have them at Christmas? That's it. I'm going to make some. I'm going to make some mince pies next week. That's it. I'm going to do that. I've got a really squeaky chair as well, haven't I? Anyway, and um, so what have we been up to? Well. Uh, not a lot, to be perfectly honest. We have been doing a a block of the month with my clubs and classes, and so each month, you know, I give them instructions to make a little block, like something like this, and it we use it as a little refresher for certain techniques. So obviously, this was the hourglass block. This month's block uses just. Um, it's a very simple block but it makes use of half square triangles so it's a way of reinforcing certain techniques um, and also making a block at the, the same time so as you can see I'm making all of my blocks this year in uh, this lovely Bonnie and Camille fabric that I've had for quite a few years in my stash yes I'm using my stash again and um, the idea is that you know each month we make the blocks and we put them together and at the end of the year you, you know you should have enough blocks to make a little quilt which is quite nice so i might i might put some up as well if you fancy joining us you'd be more than welcome to that would be really nice but i also i also recognize that a lot of people don't like just making blocks so I sometimes try to come up with little projects that they can make with them as well to make use of them and I was hugely inspired by one of my ladies Jen who always whenever we do something she always, always makes it smaller she always shrinks it in miniature and it, they always look so good because she has a great taste in fabric as well but I was also inspired by a, a pouch that Maureen made me I think for Christmas hang on where did I put it I got it I've got it here, look, hold on. Remember that one? I did talk about it on the video um, that Maureen had made me for Christmas. So I just thought, you know what, this, this will make a really nice, nice little project bag. Um, not project bag, but a ooh, notions bag. So I have a thing about not having square, square things as well. So I, I did make it, I did make it a rectangle. But look how cute it turned it up. It turned out, and I've got a lovely Japanese zip in there. Um, so I've got them all making these now, which is quite nice. So that's what's been going on there. I 
been a bit lazy with the machine uh, with the long arm. I have got a customer quilt to do, but the other one that the next one that I'm going to throw onto the frame now is is this one here, and I'll I'll put some pictures in. But this is a a pieced hexagon pieced hexagon quilt. Now this was from a layer cake pattern by Lynn Goldsworthy, who is a British quilt designer, who is one of the Thread House trio with Joe Avery and, um, I'm having a complete blank, Karen, Karen, Karen Lewis, Karen, I think, Karen Lewis. And this was a pattern that she did a long time ago, I think, and I seem to think it was a freebie on the Moda Bake Shop, but I might be wrong. But I'll double check that and, and if it is then I'll try and put a link in. So this is quite an old quilt top that's been knocking around for a while. So this is going to go onto the frame and I'm trying to decide whether I do a bit of custom quilting or whether I just do a pantograph all over. The way I'm feeling at the moment I'm thinking it's just going to be a pantograph just to get it finished. So, so that's going to go onto the quilt frame next and I'm doing this to make myself do it because I got a little bit lazy. So that's going onto the quilt frame. I've got lots of other things going on at the moment but one of the other ones I've got is one of Jackie's quilts that we're, I'm finishing off with somebody that she obviously started for her grandchildren and it's the Spectacular Savannah by Elizabeth Hartman and she'd made a start on them, all of these bits are done and Patricia and I, one of my ladies from class, are just working through the blocks um, to make each of the animal heads and I got tasked with the, the gazelle, I think it was, I think it's called the gazelle and um, I mean it's turned out absolutely amazing but oh my word the amount of pieces and how long this took to piece was was phenomenal. I think it took me about two days to get the block together. But it, it has turned out really, I am very pleased with it, I have to say. And Patricia did the, what is that, is that a giraffe? That's a giraffe, I think. <laughs> a bit hard to tell sometimes when they're in this, this sort of form. And I think that's the, that's obviously the rhinoceros. And um, we've got, I think we've got the elephant, no that's a giraffe, so what? Zebra. Oh, it's a zebra, of course it's a zebra. Um, so I've got the wildebeest to do yet and then we can start getting that together. So I absolutely love Elizabeth Hartman quilts, I just think they're phenomenal but they are so many pieces and so much so much time to get them together but they were worth the effort I think so yeah have a look at her fabrics if you not her fabrics her pattern if you get a chance I've got a house full at the minute so if you can hear background noise I do apologize one of them's on the rowing machine um, and I think the other one's on a call in the kitchen so there's there's always always something going on and um, I'm trying to think what else I've got to tell you really. I've got lots of, like I said, lots of, ling lots of little things on the go. But um, I don't think there's anything else that I've got that I can show you really. I need to sort of, you know, when you, oh no, I'm not going to start moaning. I'm not going to start moaning. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Okay, I think we're about at 10 minutes. So I am going, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find a backing fabric for that quilt now. And I'm going to strike while the iron's hot. I'm going to do it. Watch this space. Thanks ever so much for joining me. It's nice to see you. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Whoa, that's my timer. Siri, stop. No, he's not going to do as he's told. I think I've got my life out of me. Ah, so there we go. Right then, I'm off. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.